Meet me at home. Great job tonight, honey. Your lip sync was amazing. Thank you. You liked the new wigs? The Barbara one was perfection. And I love the new bar. They've really killed it with the renovations. I guess. It's still not as good as the one in town. And the hour-long drive is making me crazy. Don't start that again. You know why you can't perform in town. But it's been two years. Don't you think it's time to move? You know we're still saving up. No, to tell your stepmom about me, about us. Don't you think it's time? What's the worst that can happen? She disowns me and kicks us both out of our house. But you're 20. She hasn't been your legal guardian for two years. But I'm renting from her. Exactly. We're paying to stay on her property, and it's not cheap. It's cheaper than any other rentals in town. She could make a lot more money from someone else. And if she kicks us out now, we won't be able to afford a new place, not until we save up enough money. I know. I'm just tired of living in secret as soon as I get home. Not every family can be as supportive as yours. Your dad would have been, and it's his property. Sorry, I shouldn't have said that. I know how much you miss him. Yeah. When are you coming home? Two hours, tops. I have an encore. Lots of tips tonight. Great, honey. When you get back, let's discuss this more, okay? I hate that you're upset. Jake, I'm sorry. I know. Max, I need the rent tomorrow. What? We have another week. I know, but your brother has another dental problem. Max, please answer me. I'm sorry about Travis's teeth, again, but I'll pay you at the end of the month as usual. Max, your father and I raised you better than that. Family comes first, remember? Fine, I'll take it out of my savings. Okay, you're welcome. I don't appreciate that kind of tone. What tone? We're texting. There's no tone in a text. There it goes again. Maybe if you started coming to church again, you'd remember how to respect your mother. I'm sorry. In the future, I'll try to give you all the respect you deserve. Thank you. Oh, I almost forgot. You know that roommate that's staying with you, Jake? Yeah, I know my own roommate. I've decided to evict him. Be prepared for another tenant to move in at the beginning of the month. What? Why? Sandy from church told me about his... job. I assume you're not aware of what he does to earn a living. He's a bank teller. Yes, but at night, he has a different job. I'm sorry that you had to find out this way, but your roommate is a transvestite. He dresses in women's clothes and degrades himself for money. Obviously, he can't stay on my property with that kind of lifestyle. Karen, he's not a transvestite. No one even uses that word anymore. He's a drag queen. And a damn good one. He makes more in one weekend than both of us make in our normal jobs all week. So you knew about this? Yes. And you're fine with it? I love his shows. That's disgusting. You're disgusting for enabling that kind of deviance. Stop. You're not kicking him out and you're not going to say anything to him, all right? Max, what is your relationship to this man? He's my boyfriend. I love him. You're one of them too? I am. That's it. You're both kicked out of my house and I never want to see you again. What about family comes first? You're not family. Not anymore. And honestly, I never saw you as a son anyway. I always knew there was something wrong about you. Where do you expect us to go? As far away from here as possible. Your father would be so disappointed. Hey babe, I just heard your voice message and I couldn't understand a damn word through all the crying. What's wrong? Karen found out. About my shows? About everything. She kicked us out. She can't do that. There's gotta be a law. Not in this state. We're screwed. And she said that she never wanted to see me again. No big loss there. The woman's a bigger bitch than any of the queens I work with. True. Honey, it'll be okay. We'll think of something. But what? We have enough for a shitty apartment somewhere, at least for a couple months. We'll each take extra shifts. We'll be okay. I'm so angry. 
Me too. Maybe you can talk to your brother? He's not indoctrinated into the church like Karen is. Travis? The guy's a moron who doesn't even brush his teeth. And he hates me. But he's our age. Maybe he'll understand our situation. Just convince him to talk to Karen about changing her mind. I guess. It's worth a shot. A long shot. Max, whatever happens, we'll get through this. You and me. We're family. I love you. Travis? Hi. Long time no see. How's the teeth? I'm at the dentist now. It's taking forever. Sorry to hear that. What do you want? Have you talked with your mom? Plenty of times. I mean, lately. About me. No? Why? Did you do something bad? Not at all. But she's kicking me out of my house. Really? She can do that? Yeah. I have a week till the end of the month. Sucks, right? Dude, I don't want to get in the middle of this. Can you talk with her? I can't talk to anyone. My mouth is all messed up. And no, I won't talk with her. I won't help you with the will. I won't do anything. You're barking up the wrong tree. The will? Yeah, solve your own problems. Why do you mention Dad's will? Never mind. Forget about it. Okay. So, how'd it go with Travis? He said he doesn't want to help me. So much for brotherly love, huh? I guess it doesn't apply to stepbrothers. Yeah, I didn't expect much from him. But he mentioned something weird. What? He said something about Dad's will, and then he clammed up. Do you think that's important? I don't know. But I've never actually seen it, and I guess Karen has it stashed away in her house. So what are you gonna do? Isn't it obvious? I'm going to sneak in there and have a look. Maybe Karen's keeping something from me that I don't know. Shouldn't you just call a lawyer? No! Lawyers are expensive and slow. I have to do this today. Can you help? I'm at work. Yeah, but can you message her? Ask her to meet you somewhere. I need to make sure she's out of the house. Okay, I guess I can think of something. Karen, how are you, sweetie? This is Jake. Why are you messaging me? So my boyfriend, Max, filled me in on your issues, and I completely understand. My issues? Exactly. And I'm so sorry that you feel this way. Obviously, you and your church friends don't understand the magic and beauty of a real drag show. That's not the problem. Oh, I think it is. Which is why I wanted to put on a show just for you. What? It starts in 10 minutes, and I really think you should attend. I've already invited all your friends. And I know that money is tight for you, so don't worry, it's completely free. I'd never go to one of your shows. Shame, all your friends will be there. And mine too, Rita Letter, Shandana, and even Miss Lil Sparkle. You just have to come. I would never. Your church is on 7th, right? Blessed Days, the one with that nice little stage out front. It'll be perfect for us. We just need to move the little manger figurines out of the way. How dare you! See you th there! Is she gone yet? I just saw her speed out of the driveway. Whatever you told her seemed to do the trick. What did you say, anyway? Oh, I just invited her to tea. That's all. Well, I'm going in now. Oh. My. God. What is it? Honey, I found the will. And? It's all under my name. Our house. And Karen's house, too. And Dad's old bank account. It all became mine when I turned 18. What? I know! What are you going to do? I'm taking the will now. Meet me at home when you get off work. I'm going to get a lawyer now. I think we can afford one. How dare you lie to me! The church was empty! Oops. If I weren't already evicting you, I'd press charges. For what? Hello? So, what did the lawyer say? You won't believe this. The lawyer's name is Tom. Really nice guy. Kinda cute. And he's already my personal lawyer. 
Wait, what? Karen found the will and realized that dad left her nothing. So she had Travis go in and pretend to be me. Really? Yeah, that's why Tom didn't believe who I was at first. Your teeth are too nice. <laughs> at first he wouldn't meet with me, but then I showed him the will and my ID. Damn. I know. Apparently, after Dad died, Karen had her idiot son start forging my name on tax docs and all sorts of stuff. They squandered all the money out of the bank account, but still have the properties under my name. That's disgusting. So he agreed to work with me. I guess I'm technically already his client, so no conflict at all. What Karen has done is very illegal, like we're talking felonies. And if I want to press charges, he'll help me every step of the way. Do you want to press charges? What do you think? Karen won't need to stay in my house if she moves to a nice, cozy jail. But what about Travis? I mean, he's just as guilty. Maybe, and he's always been kind of a jerk. But I don't hate him as much as his mom. He might be too much of an idiot to realize what trouble he's in. So you're gonna let him go? I don't know. I think I'll message him. Give him one more chance. That doesn't sound like you and maybe mess with him a little in the process. Love it. That's my man. Travis, are you done with the dentist? Stop messaging me. My mouth is in pain. I'm not in the mood. Just hear me out, just for a second. I ran into my lawyer, Tom. He was surprised that I looked so different. Oh, is that all you're gonna say? I screwed up didn't I? Yep. I'm sorry. Make me believe it. Dude, I'm so sorry. I pretended to be you, but I didn't know that I'd get caught. That's not much of an apology, especially after all of my money you spent. You're right. I never should have done it. I messed up, okay? My bad. And that's the whole apology? Look, I could send you to jail for a long, long time if I make a big deal out of this. Convince me not to. I'm sorry! I don't want to go to jail! Keep apologizing. What else did you do? I'm sorry for beating you up in school, and telling everybody you had herpes, and breaking Dad's laptop and blaming you for it. That was you? And I'm sorry for giving you the nickname MaxiPad, and for letting Mom force you to move into the other house. I'm sorry for everything! You made up the MaxiPad nickname? I thought it was funny at the time. Wow. You are so going to jail. No, you can't, please! What will mom think? Oh, she's going too, after what she did. Mom had nothing to do with it. I made sure she never read the will all the way through. What? This was all your plan? But you're an idiot. I guess I'm smarter than you think. Not smart enough, apparently. But seriously, Karen doesn't know that I own the houses? No, you're not gonna tell her, are you? Max? Max? I think she'll figure it out when the police arrive to pick you up. Please! If you say anything to her first, I'll make sure you get the longest sentence possible. Do you understand? Yes. Hi, Mom. I told you never to talk to me again. Your friend just played a very cruel prank on me. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Stop messaging me. I'm going to block you. You don't know how to do that. I'll have my son show me. Goodbye. Wait. I promise to stay away forever. I just need one bit of closure first. Okay? Fine. Did you ever love my dad? Of course I did. Did you ever love me? What are you getting at? I don't want to play any of your stupid games. Please, just answer. Did you ever love me? No, I tried, but no. And when you found out I was something you didn't like, you didn't have a problem kicking me out of your house, right? You're not going to make me change my mind. Please answer my question. Yes, I kicked you out. Deal with it. Even though I'm family, it's okay to turn your back on me. I told you before, you're not my family anymore. And if something happens and I magically become straight, would you let me move back in? No. You've gone too far. You're an embarrassment. I see. No matter what I say, you won't change your mind. Never. Okay. That's all I needed to know. So, we're done here. 
I'll never have to see you or your lover ever again. That's right. Because I'm kicking you out. I have dad's will, the one that your real son hid from me. And because you're no longer my family, you will no longer be welcome on my property. What? What did Travis do? Dad willed me both houses and Travis pretended to be me without telling anyone. Travis thought of that? But he's an idiot. I know, right? Anyway, it looks like he's going to jail and you're gonna be homeless. No, you can't kick me out. Read through our messages again. I'm going to do exactly what you were doing to me. And nothing you say will change my mind. Family comes first, right? Well, Jake is my family. You never were. I think your son is in the other room. I'm guessing you two have a lot to talk about. Better be fast. The police are on their way. Please, Max, I take it back. I love you. Please. I'm coming home now. You're leaving early from work? I have to. I gotta hear what happened. Oh, it was epic. I wish I could have seen Karen's face when her only family member was taken away by the police. So Karen didn't get arrested? She didn't break the law. She was just a bitch. You mean, your idiot brother planned everything? Yep. And Karen is going unpunished? Well, she'll be homeless soon. That's a pretty big punishment. But the good news is we can move into their house. It's way nicer. Really? Yeah, you'll have plenty of room for your wigs. And we can sell the other property. Our money problems are over. Thank God. But I'm sorry you had to lose your whole family in the process. What? You're all the family I need. It's been about a month now, and Jake and I have finally moved into my stepmom's old house. My new house. Jake has all sorts of decorating ideas for this place, but it's my childhood home, so I don't want to change things too much. So much of it still reminds me of my dad. We're in the process of selling the other house, and we've already had a couple offers. Including from a nice lesbian couple that's moving into the area. I think we'll go with them. Travis is awaiting his trial. They haven't set a date yet, but it should be at the end of the month. My lawyer told me that we have a really good case against him. He stole a lot of money. He tried calling me from jail, but I didn't answer. I'm guessing the living conditions will be hard for him, but hey, at least the American prison system supplies toothbrushes. And as for Karen, I don't know where she went. She didn't have many friends to begin with, surprise, surprise, but now that everyone knows all the crap that she and her son put me through, I don't think anyone in this town is willing to take her in. The other day, Jake said she saw someone who looked a lot like Karen sleeping on a bench in the park. I thought about paying her one last visit, but I decided against it. She's my stepmother, after all, and I should honor my promise to her to stay out of her life and never see her again. <laughs>